Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm shooting my uh, old and trusty helmet and I would like to walk you through my setup, settings, shoot and uh, eventually the edit. This is quite an old uh, helmet and it has some battle marks which will require some attention in post but we'll get to that later. I have uh, balanced the helmet on a stand uh, so it's just floating there and I'm shooting with my Canon 7D Mark II and my Canon 24-70L lens and I'll be triggering the flashes with a uh, Godox X-Pro trigger. My settings are 1 to 50th of a second at f11 and ISO 100 and I'll be shooting tethered into Lightroom. I'll be using three flashes. This is the Godox 8400 Pro uh, with a zoom reflector shooting through a scrim. On the left side I have another Godox uh, 8400 Pro with a strip box and uh, on the top I have uh, a speed light with a uh, strip box. I will turn on uh, the lights one at a time so you can see what each light does. Uh, but before I do that, let's take a shot without the lights and make sure that we get a black frame which is not affected uh, by the ambient light around me. So I will uh, turn off the flashes and uh, let's take a shot. Good, we have a black frame so we can start turning on the lights. I'll start with the speed light on top. I think it's uh, group C. Let's turn it on. Take a shot and see what it does. Okay. Now I'll turn on uh, the light on the right. I'll take a shot with both of them together and show you what uh, we get. And uh, last but not least, we have this strip box on the left. I'll turn it on and uh, we can see the final shot. So there we go. This is uh, the final image as far as photography is involved. Uh, you've probably noticed that I have given zero attention to the background and that is because I'm not completely sure what I want to do with the background. I may put this uh, helmet on top of another photo I've taken of a motorcycle on a racetrack and I may uh, just put it on a plain uh, Photoshop background. You probably know what I did since you've seen the thumbnail but I really don't know what I want to do. I'll take it into the edit process and uh, I'll decide uh, later as I go. Here's the photo we just took in uh, Camera Raw. I made some uh, minor adjustments to it. And this is what it looked like right out of the camera. And this is with the added adjustments. And uh, we're ready to take it into Photoshop. The edit on this photo is going to be pretty basic. Uh, mainly uh, cutting out the helmet from the background, some cleanup, and uh, then I'll have to decide what I want to do with the background, whether it's going to be a Photoshop background or maybe kind of floating this on a background of a another photo that I have of a motorcycle rider uh, on a track. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm not going to talk you through the entire process because it's uh, rather basic. Everything you know from uh, previous edits which involves uh, layers, masks, uh, clean up with the clone tool and the uh, uh, healing brush and so on. So uh, I will also speed up uh, some of the uh, parts of this video so you don't have to see me do repetitive things uh, uh, and bore yourselves. Uh, if you have any questions please, please feel free to uh, ask me in the comments and I'll be happy to answer each and every one of them. Uh, and I will punch in again if I do anything that requires some explanation or is a little out of the standard. 
please enjoy the video and thank you very much for watching and if you like content like this please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much
So the cleanup is complete and uh, you can see the, the difference that it makes when I turn the cleanup layer on and off. And uh, now I will attend to the visor which has uh, some reflections on it from uh, the curtains uh, in the room. Uh, you can see them right here. I will uh, pretty much remake the visor in uh, Photoshop uh, to clean it up. And now that I have the visor selected, I will black it out and uh, will add a fake reflection to make it look a little more realistic. Next step is to deal with the background. Um, I'm enlarging the canvas so I can center the helmet and build the background behind it. I'm going with a black background and a glow of light uh, which will be in shades of uh, orange that I am uh, copying from the stickers on the helmet. adding a shadow beneath the helmet to ground it and uh, give it some context and space. At this point I started tweaking and experimenting with the background because I wasn't very satisfied with the current background. Uh, so I played around with the gradients and uh, opacities and so on and so forth. Uh, until I reached uh, this image, which I thought will be the final image. But then I left it alone and uh, came back to it the following day with fresh eyes and I noticed it had a very severe case of banding. So what I did is uh, I created this layer with a fill with the darkest color of the gradient that I wanted and I made it into a smart object uh, and then I applied the camera raw filter on it uh, which uh, what I did actually is just put a dab of uh, very large and soft brush set to plus four stops of uh, light and uh, white set uh, plus 100 and I brought that into Photoshop and then I noticed it still had some banding so in order to completely rid of the banding I added noise to the layer and that pretty much took care of the banding problem and here is the final image Thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. And uh, I'd appreciate if you consider subscribing to my channel. Take care and see you next time.